This is Mayor Ron Anders with the Mayor's Minutes from our November the 5th, 2019 Auburn City Council meeting. In the Committee of the Whole last night, we made some appointments. First of all, to the Building Board of Adjustment, we reappointed Stacy Norman and Wes Thrash to serve second terms. We are also looking for one more architect to serve on that board. It has to be vocationally driven by your job and what you do for a living, and so we need a person to fit the, an architect role on there. So if you know any architects in the community or you're an architect and would be interested in helping us with the Building Board of Adjustment, please contact your council representative or let the staff know at the city uh, so we can talk to you about that and get an application. On the Education of Building Authority, Mr. Charles Pick ha has agreed to fulfill a second term and we appreciate his willingness to serve in that role again. We had a discussion of fees. Councilman Bob Parsons brought up the subject of impact fees and the council discussed this at length last night and ultimately the council decided to ask the city staff to uh, create a memorandum or some information for us about impact fees and then conver conversely what we're doing as a city to capture some of these expenses that occur when a new development comes to our community. So we'll be uh, looking for that information sometimes in the coming months. It's a very complicated subject and, um, and we certainly want to give staff time to dig into this and, and provide us some rich information. Councilman Tommy Dawson also asked the council if we would um, uh, invite or ask the city staff to uh, look into, doing, look into the, the uh, potential of having a police precinct in South Auburn somewhere near South College. Um, that certainly has not been defined exactly where and I want to encourage the public to let you know that we have not located a place to do this. This is the first time we've had this discussion. Um, so this has not been building internally. This is just an idea that Councilman Dawson, who is a former police chief, believes it's time has come for us to research this to see if it's a viable option for our city to help us protect you better. So the staff will be looking into this and will be uh, conducting all the due diligence and interviews with our public safety officials to determine whether this is the right time for us to evaluate and investigate having another police precinct in Auburn, particularly in South Auburn. And so we'll be looking for that information in the future as well. As we get into the agenda uh, last night, being the first meeting of the month, we're able to recognize a number of employees have done a great job. And Jonathan Thomas from our Water Resource Management was our employee of the month. And here's, here's a memorandum from Eric Carson that I'd like to read to you. JT is what he goes by, consistently demonstrates a high level of enthusiasm. Dependability, customer service, attention to detail, and a wide range of skills while performing all of his multiple duties. He's a very hard worker and is always thinking about and acting upon ways to improve the aesthetic appearance of their complex and the efficiency of the operations. Recently, when the main building underwent an interior renovation that required stage move-outs and move-ins for both the utility billing, billing office and the engineering side of the building, JT worked tirelessly to facilitate the movement of furniture, files, and commuters throughout each phase of the nine-month project. So here's a guy that loves what he's doing, he enjoys who he's working for, uh, and he thinks outside the box and is willing to be helpful in what other purpose that he's needed. So thank you, uh, Jonathan Thomas, for all your hard work on behalf of the citizens, and thank you for making Water Resource Management Department a better place to work in. We also recognize Darrell Aldridge and Kelvin Staples from our Environmental Services Department for working for the City of Auburn for 15 years, Steve Hicks from our Finance Department for 20 years, and Philip Dunlap from our Economic Development Department for 35 years. And then finally, we recognize Kenny Frazier who retired from our Police Department after 26 years. And the message I'd like to say to our community is, here are five people that have worked a long, long time for your city, serving you uh, in an excellent manner and I just thank them for w being willing to stay as a part of our municipal and city staff all of these years, and I hopefully that communicates to all of us that the city of Auburn is a great place to work and a great place to have a career, and I can tell you from my experience, we've got great people working here. So thank you to all of them for everything that they've done to make Auburn a better place, and we were proud to recognize them. We did announce a board uh, vacancy for the Metropolitan Planning Organization Citizens Advisory Committee and we'll be making that appointment on December the 3rd. If you'd like to know more about that, please go to the city's website and collect that information and let us know if you're interested in serving in that role. Under the consent agenda, we approved a new uh, 
uh, alcohol beverage license for American Multi Cinema, which is the Auburn AMC Classic Auburn 14, basically our movie theater near the Village Mall. Uh, this is a change in ownership, and so it was an administrative change in, uh, for our alcohol beverage license. Very simple. And we approved an alcohol beverage license for Royal Denier, uh, which is a new restaurant at 132 North College Street. It has been open for a little while, and it's just now asking for their alcohol beverage license. Under contracts and agreements, we approved a development agreement with SMB Land for the Camden West subdivision. We approved the purchase of 560 uh, rollout trash cans, rollout carts for environmental services from the Auto Environmental Systems. This was $24,000. Some of these will go to new citizens and some will go to replace broken down um, trash cans. We approved an aerial photography project uh, for $182,000. This is a project that we share with Opelika, share with the county, and share with the university. It helps us in so many ways with roadworks and infrastructure and water and sewer and all types of land mapping. Um, so all of the entities within Lee County share this and, uh, and pay for it equally. We approved a, uh, a new four-door pumper truck for Fire Station 1. This is $478,000. Uh, these fire trucks are expensive, as you can see, and Hopefully this will help you appreciate uh, those trucks when they fly by you going to help protect our community in whatever fashion that might be. But this is a budgeted item and we are retiring a truck from the, from the fleet. We also purchased some fire reporting software for $20,000. We purchased a couple of new pickup trucks for the fire department at $62,000 and we purchased some fire alerting equipment for fire stations two and three. And this will make our whole fire station system one through five have the same alerting equipment. Uh, and this allows us just to be able to get out and leave uh, in a more efficient manner. Uh, it, there's a lot of technology that goes behind all this. And so all of our systems will be coordinated. Um, and if you want more information on that, I ask you to contact our public safety and they can explain to you exactly what happens there. We purchased a couple of pickup trucks for our water resource management department. Um, Two of those are both at $28,000, and then we amended a commercial agreement um, with Twister 5062, and this is basically with Cypress Equities, and these are the two Walmart grocery store developments in Auburn. Under ordinance last night, we approved the Severe Weather Preparedness Tax Holiday, which is February 21st through 23rd. Please go to the State of Alabama's Revenue website, and you can see the list of all those materials there. They're the obvious materials that you would need. Uh, if we were to have weather issues and power outages such as batteries and generators and tarps and plyboard and things such as that. Um, remember that in the spring, in the south in the spring uh, are very up and down times of weather. We could have a little bit of everything and certainly we're mindful as we think about last spring and what happened in Lee County. So this is just a time for you to save 4% on the city's collection of sales tax and keep that in your pocket uh, as we encourage you to be mindful of what are those things you might need in case we were to have a serious weather event. And then finally, we, in resolutions, we postponed the, the vote on the Performance Residential Neighborhood, which is a private dormitory, the Buckaroo Enterprises. This is at 355 Armstrong Street. Um, this was postponed from the past meeting. Uh, the, the applicant asked us actually to postpone it to the second meeting of November, but the council decided to postpone this to the first meeting in December. We'll continue to work with the applicant on the nuances of that project and see if we can get it to a place where we can vote on it on December the 3rd. Um, and so that is all for the city council meeting last night. Just a couple of things I'd like to say thank you to so many people in our community and remind you of something, but we had a great downtown trick-or-treat uh, this past week and thank the downtown merchants for their support. Certainly our public safety and our parks and rec department uh, did their part to make that a great event again. The tip-off at Toomer's as crazy it is to think about having basketball practice in the middle of our downtown, it went off great. It was a fun evening, a memorable evening, and um, we just appreciate everybody that came together to make that important. Once again, the downtown merchants, public safety, uh, did a lot of heavy lifting there, and we thank them for that. I thank certainly President Googe for recognizing and, and thanking our public safety men and women by having dinners at his house a couple weeks ago, and that was very kind of President Googe and his staff to do that. And, we certainly know how valuable those men and women are to our city, but thank you to President Googe for recognizing that. I want to thank the Auburn Chamber of Commerce for hosting the Industry Appreciation Tailgate at Jordan-Hare Stadium. That was a lot of fun a couple of weeks ago, and we were able to we were really focus on those companies that have come to our area and hired so many of our people and provide great jobs for the local folks. 
I want to congratulate the Heritage Association for another round of Pine Hill Cemetery tours. Um, thank them for providing such a unique way of understanding Auburn's history and rich heritage. Um, the Shine Prom was a couple weeks ago over in Opelika at their Sportsplex, and I was asked to be a part of that. And what a special and unique event to recognize our citizens with special needs. And I just thank all of those, including Lori Fuller, for all the hard work that went into putting that event on. What a great, great night. The Alzheimer's Walk was a couple of Sundays ago, and thank everybody for, and Coach Pearl especially, for, for putting some attention to this terrible disease and g gathering on a pretty Sunday afternoon on campus and walking through town uh, to raise money for the Alzheimer's fight. And I want to thank the Gooch Center for they had their first school program where a couple of our elementary schools were able to go over and have a special performance from Circa Mechanics. Um, there are five more of these scheduled for this winter and spring with our different elementary schools, so all of them will have a chance to go to the Gooch Center and be a part of this. And I just thank the Gooch Center for making that important part of their mission um, for this brand new facility that continues to provide great entertainment for our community. I also want to thank everybody that participated and came to the first ever State of the City Address. Um, the city staff here at, all, at the City of Auburn were great support to me preparing for that night and that speech and I thank each one of them for all of their help. I thank everybody at the Gooch Center for really providing the horsepower from a technological and a production standpoint to make that evening go. And I thank all of you, over 500 people took an hour of their time that Monday night to come and hear about the city and uh, we thank you for that. It's my heart, my intent to share with you everything that's going on in the city, good, bad, and things we're challenged by and things that we have great opportunities for. And that's what we tried to do that evening. It was a lot of information, but thank you for enduring and listening. And, and congratulations again to those special six people who were recognized for the first ever recipients of the Mayor's Lamplighter Awards. They're all fantastic people. And thank you for being very committed servants of our city each and every day. A couple of things to remind you of. This Monday is Veterans Day. We'll be having the Veterans Ceremony at the Veterans Memorial at 10 o'clock on Monday morning. Please take 30 minutes of your day and, and come recognize the great efforts and sacrifices of many of our veterans. And then I want to remind everybody that Auburn High School plays in the high school football playoffs Friday night here at Duck Sanford Park. They play Murphy High School of Mobile and we encourage you to get out and support the Tigers. This is Ron Anders with the Mayor's Minutes from our November the 5th 2019 meeting. Y'all have a great week.